going to finish up this series 2015 Michael Halloween, like I said to you guys during the good Sunday afternoon. The last of 2015 Rock and Hall of Fame, and in this year's 2015 Rock and Hall of Fame, in Dallas, Texas, Stevie Ray Vaughn, who in my mind is one of the greatest musicians of our time, who was, suddenly was taken away from us years and years ago, 1990, August 27, 1990, at the age of 35. It's not too familiar with Steve Irvin or had been listening following his career up until his time with death. Known as Steve Ray Vaughan, Stephen Ray Vaughan, American musician, singer, songwriter, work producer, so a short lived mainstream career spanning seven years, wildly considered one of the most influential electric guitarists in the history of blues. Blues music, most important figures in rival blues in the 1990s. All music scribes and other rock and power house guitars to keep blues a burst and moment in ease. So it still fell off to his tragic death. Born and raised in Dallas, Texas, Vaughn began playing guitar at age 7. That's why I remember his older brother, Jimmy, in night seven, he dropped out of high school and moved to Austin the following year. He played gigs in numerous bands, earning a spot on Mark Bale's band. That caused the later Dane Freeman and Nicole Price a whole week to work until the 1977. He formed his own group, Triple Threat Re- Re- Review, for we need a band double show after hiring drummer Chris Lee and the bass Tom Shannon. He came from his performance at the Montreal Jazz Festival in 1982 and 1983 debut studio album, Texas Flood Charter in number 38. Ten Ton Hall was commercial success for the city. It sold over half a million copies to the suburban in 1986. The headline concert tour was struck back in 1989 until Cock, the Lake Ridge, Little Cock in 1990, where his best in the helicopter crash August 27, 1995. During his time when he was still with us, he revolutionized the blues. Music scene a long time. He's probably one of the, one of the forefathers in blues music. Uh, today he revolutionized the, the blues music during his time, and definitely one of the greatest guitars. But uh, up until his uh, time with Daz, I wasn't sure if his career was going to be put into this year into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and thank God the people of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame put him in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with his band uh, Steve, uh, Double Trouble and I think it was a, a nice way for his career his legacy to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, who had died in night. He passed away way too fast in 1990. He he was a trailblazer. He was a guy that way before other crazy guitars like John Mayer's. Uh, Eric Clapton's 